game and I'm still the same And I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin' I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can tell by the title of the video today, I am going to be revealing my God Squad to you guys. Now, I figured it was time I get you guys this video. I have been hiding my lineup basically all year. A lot of you have been wanting to see my lineup. You guys can help me make some changes. You guys can see the type of punch my lineup is packing and all the different things like that. Now, before we do get into this video, there's two things I want to quickly mention. Number one, there is the new, quote-unquote, new uh, moments packs that are currently out right now. They cost 9K VC and 13K MT, I believe. I'm yet to open any of them, but what those packs do is you can pull any of the moments cards that have come out through the year, from Emerald something to Pink Diamond James Harden, Pink Diamond Kemba, Diamond Clay, you name it, they are in the packs for the next 24 hours. They're their own separate packs. They're still the regular league moments packs, but there's no point in ripping those ones because there's no moments that are currently out that leads me to my second thing i was going to mention and that is that it's unfortunate that we are not getting any new moments today i was looking forward to diamond Giannis, as well as amethyst john wall but unfortunately we're not getting any of those so no gameplays for you guys today hence why i've got this god squad videos for you guys Alright, so let's go ahead and let's dive right into this God Squad video. At the number one position, guys, I've got the current best point guard of all time, and that is going to be none other than Pink Diamond 97 overall Magic Johnson. It was only fitting to have the greatest point guard of all time as our starting point guard of the God Squad, but that is not the only reason why he is my starting point guard. This card is an absolute demigod. Not only is he annoying on offense, but he's absolutely annoying on defense as well. You can see that he's got a diamond shoe. This card is also currently valued at about 350 to 400 K MT. That is a lot of MT, but lucky for me, I was lucky enough to pull him when the packs were out, so I'm super happy there. This card, though, he is amazing. The biggest reason he is on my lineup at the starting position, especially, is because of you cheesers out there. This man is the cheese deodorant. You got Kirilenko at point guard? No problem. Magic will clamp you. You got Granger at point guard? No problem. You got LeBron? Nothing is a problem at point guard when you've got your boy Magic, and that is what I love about the card the most. He is amazing on both ends. He doesn't have to score for 40 points a game on your team for him to feel like he's making a difference he just plays great on defense and he plays great on offense and that is why i have this card at the number one position all right so at the number two position guys we've got arguably one of my favorite cards in the game and for those of you that might not know who this is already you either do not watch my videos enough or you just do not watch my videos enough number two we've got the man that magic johnson loves to pass to in transition arguably the best shooter in nba 2k19 so far and that is going to be none other than Diamond 95 overall Clay Thompson. This card is the definition of a two way demigod. Absolutely clamps on defense, an absolute sharpshooter on offense. And the best thing about my Clay, he's got the diamond contract and the diamond shoe that helps him speed boost. Now he's not only restricted to just being a shooter, he can dribble, shoot off the dribble. His takeover is the shot creator as well as the sharp, which makes him absolutely OP. And this card, he is currently valued at 400. 100k plus mt with that diamond shoe even with this huge auction house crash with the new moments packs this card he is an absolute demigod definitely one of my favorite cards to play with if you guys watch my videos and with these two cards together so far 400k mt and we'll just call magic at 350k that is 750k mt between these two players now the reason i have clay at the shooting guard position as i mentioned earlier he shoots he shoots amazingly hall of fame limitless and catch and shoot with a magic dimer is absolutely unstoppable he's tall for his position so again when people try to do some dumb stuff he's able to guard it he's got great defense and he's got great offense and he's got a super super easy release and that is why i've got my boy clay at the number two position all right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive into the small forward position. Now, this one is a little bit controversial just because my starting small forward and my bench small forward can be interchangeable. I feel like the small forward was the hardest position for me to solidify who the best one is just because it really comes down to how it is as your play style. But who I chose as my starting small forward ended up being Diamond 95 overall Kevin Durant. Now this card he is currently valued at 200k with a diamond contract and diamond three-point shoe that I currently have on him. 
this Kevin Durant is an absolute demigod and I know some of you are probably thinking why not a card like Diamond Danny Granger Danny Granger is just a card I am so over he is on everybody's lineup everyone wants to use him at point guard I'm just so past that card I decided to sell my Granger and I'm enjoying playing with Kevin Durant so much more his release is so nice this card in takeover is great he can speed boost he can create his own shot very well he plays great on offense plays great on defense he is 6'9 he can play the small forward or power forward position everything about this card just basically has no flaws again except for that three points which we did fix with the three point shoe making this card an absolute demigod and that is why he is the starting small forward of my god squad Alright, so with the addition of Diamond Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, and Magic Johnson, we are looking at a total sum of 950k MT alone right there. That leads us to move on to our power forward position. Now, for the power forward position that I chose, this man is, I think, the best power forward in the game, and that is going to be none other than... Pink Diamond 97 overall, Balake Griffin, aka Blake Griffin. This card with the diamond contract and the diamond shoe, he is currently valued at about 350k to 400k MT as well, just like Pink Diamond Magic Johnson. The 20th anniversary series cards, once they go out of the packs, have just absolutely skyrocketed in value. But yes, guys, Pink Diamond Blake is who I think is the best power forward in this game. This card can do absolutely everything 99 offensive and defensive. He's got the amazing open shot three at a 92 dunking is insane He low-key has ball control when this card is in takeover mode He can actually speed boost and that is just disgusting to think about his defense is great rebounding is great This shoe gives him an 80 speed with ball when he catches a rebound with his one-man fast break You cannot stop him while he is going down the court The best thing about this card is that he can really guard the one through five his lateral quickness is good enough for him to guard the one through five and he can be played at the one through five i have seen so many people run this man at the one and he becomes virtually unstoppable because if you've got a regular point guard even someone like magic johnson blake just has so much brute strength that he can post you up and that is what i love about this card the most the reason i have him in my power forward position is he can shoot he can pass he can post up he can defend he can rebound he's fast he can dunk this card is literally the all-around mr fundamental unfortunately not ping diamond tim duncan but we are going to call Blake Mr. Fundamental because this card can literally do everything an absolute demigod valued at 350k MT that brings the total for our lineup currently to 1.2 million MT among four players me saying that out loud makes me want to sell them but they're not going anywhere but that does lead us to move on to our number five position and for our number five position I chose one of my favorite centers to use in the game and that is going to be Diamond 94 overall Dwight Howard from the flight school packs now this card he's currently going for a hundred K There's no buy nows for him in the auction house So I decided to just make it simple and call him a hundred K and leave it at that But guys there is so many reasons that this Dwight Howard is my starting center and also one of my favorite cards to use in the game Number one we actually have to go ahead and dive into the stats for me to explain this this card He can rebound he can do so many things he has post game which is what I love about the card He's strong and he's heavy 265 pounds and the thing about him being 265 pounds is that he is super freaking fast take a look at that guys 98 speed on him with a diamond shoe I have on him and another thing I love about this card the most is with a shoe it gives him 93 lateral quickness this gives him the ability to guard the one through five and this is super helpful in pick and roll situations where magic switches because the thing about magic and Dwight is both of them can guard the one through five so if we have to switch a pick and roll it's really not that big of a deal because Dwight Howard he is still a clamp defender he can rebound he can block he can shock test he even has an 81 steal like there is just no flaws to this card other than the shooting but I love the feeling of a traditional pure center which is what makes this card so amazing and the thing is when people run center shoot scenting or shooting center sorry like Jokic and stuff they don't really have the same ability to defend the paint like uh, cards like Dwight or Kareem so going into the post with a Dwight Howard on a Jokic makes it so 
so so easy to score i'm not i don't really care for my big men really shooting threes i do like my power forward being able to shoot the three but my center it's really not a big deal for him because i just like them playing like center but that is why my dwight howard is going to be my starting center and as you can see with our starting five here they are valued at 1.3 million mt we've got magic for 350 clay for 400 kevin durant for 200 blake for 350 as well and then dwight howard for 800k so we've got a pretty mean lineup going on right now it's looking pretty disgusting but obviously we're not done we got to go ahead and we got to dive right into the bench here so for my starting point guard off the bench i've got none other than the man i'm currently doing a series on and that is my boy pink diamond 97 overall alan iverson and for those of you wondering i will be having an episode of the answer coming out soon you guys have been showing an insane amount of support and i can't thank you guys for that enough for those of you who have not checked it out yet make sure to go ahead and check it out there will be episode 2 coming soon in the near future so be on the lookout for that but yes guys as you can see we've got 97 overall ping diamond allen iverson with his diamond three point shoe this card is currently valued at 300k plus mt on the auction house and there is reasons for that just because ai is an undersized point guard i know you some of you may be thinking this card is literally going to get destroyed at point guard there's cards like granger blake griffin karolinko at point guard that will eat this man it will literally be like taking candy from a baby because he's so short but no guys allen iverson is an absolute god and the thing is I don't try to build my lineup around BS where people are running things at certain positions because I don't really care for that. The thing is, you can run whatever the hell you want at any position, but with the lineup I got, I'm gonna hoop on you, especially with this AI. I love this AI a lot. He's one of my favorite players in NBA history, which is one of the biggest reasons he's on this lineup, but this card can practically do everything. He's super fast. He plays great defense. The thing I love about him is when I'm up against a Karolinko and stuff, for whatever reason, this AI is a reach god. That 96 is absolutely cheesy this card is very fast he can shoot the three he can defend really well he does everything just amazingly there's never a point in the game where I'm like god damn I need to get rid of this card I absolutely love this card way too much he's most likely gonna be on my roster up until a galaxy opal comes out otherwise he's gonna be on my roster all year unless he sells for like 600k MT then he's got to go but other than that this man is not going anywhere anytime soon I just love this card too much he plays both offense and defense way too great has one of the easier releases i've ever played with and he doesn't really feel six feet tall in the game i don't know what it is about the game this year but six feet tall players this year compared to last year feel like a completely different size on the court and they also do not blow by ai very easily which is what i love the most about this card all right so moving on to the number two position off the bench he is probably one of my other favorite cards to play with and that is going to be my boy 91 overall amethyst throwback elite jr smith now there's very many reasons that this card is my shooting guard off the bench and not cards like mitch richmond and drazen petrovich for starters he is taller than both of them and this jr smith has one of the best and fastest i believe he does have the fastest release in the game it is so easy to green it is so cheesy if people don't close out quick enough it says it's wide open and it is so easy to green now the reason i think he's actually better than the card like diamond drazen petrovich who has the same releases him is yes Drazen might have the same release except he has limitless in the Hall of Fame badges but the reason I would rather have JR Smith on my team is that he's taller JR Smith actually has better defensive stats and JR Smith is also athletic I love this JR Smith because he will dunk going to the rim and not have those stupid animations that Drazen has and JR Smith also has speed and those are just all a bunch of different things that make this card so elite that's why I think that Diamond Drazen Petrovic is overrated and nowhere close to the demigod known as Clay Thompson or my boy Amethyst JR Smith now some people may say oh but Drazen can shoot a mid-range well guess what JR Smith with his diamond shoe can also shoot a mid-range at an 89 and also not many people shoot mid-ranges anyways so it doesn't really matter but yeah guys that is why I've got JR Smith coming off the bench for me if Clay's not cooking JR Smith he's coming in with a mad henny and he is hitting some crazy shots like he does in real life that is why he's my shooting guard off the bench all right so moving on to the number three position like I mentioned earlier this is a small forward that could have been starting or coming off the bench it could have been either or and I actually have three small forwards to show you spoiler alert because all three of those people could have been starting or coming off the bench but the small forward that I chose to come off the bench was diamond 95 overall paul george and again like i said earlier 
This is why I said like my starting small forward can be the same as the bench or they can interchange between each other because diamond 95 overall Paul George I think in some scenarios is actually better than Kevin Durant this card is an absolute beast again a lot of people like to run him at point guard but the reason for that being is he's an elite defender he can rebound he can dribble he's basically like a Blake Griffin without the post game and the thing about Paul George is that he's actually got a little bit of a post fadeaway as well which makes this card so elite now some of the flaws of this card some people may think is only that 86 open three but trust me he does not feel like he has an 86 open three whatsoever hence why I did not give him a diamond three-point shoot because he can just hoop so hard without it already but this card I love him his release is great his defense is great his speed is great his rebounding is phenomenal he's got a bit of a post fadeaway and he's got some of the nasty nastiest nastiest dunk animations going to the rim he is an absolute god hence why I was saying earlier why the starting and bench small forward could really be interchangeable now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the power forward position off the bench and this is a card that I haven't had for too long but he's growing to be one of my favorite cards in the game and that is going to be none other than Pink Diamond 96 overall Larry Johnson. This card costs a grand total of zero MT. That is right. This card is the player of the month card obtained through going 12 and 0 this month in my team unlimited. And he is an absolute beast. He was a great addition to this lineup. And the thing I love the most about this card is the Hall of Fame post spin technician. It is so cheesy. But other than that, this card can literally do everything. He's got the post game post hook. He's got a driving layup, great draw foul, great mid-range he's got an open three of a 91 the only really big flaw to this card is the 67 lateral quickness he had before we did boost it with the shoot to a 72 lateral quickness but it doesn't really feel like he has that bad of a lateral quickness which i do like about the card another flaw to him is his speed as well but other than those two things this card actually rebounds way more than any other card i've had larry johnson i will say right now rebounds better than pink diamond blake griffin i could not tell you why but he just loves to grab every single rebound and that is why I love him. His defense is super elite. Before I had Amethyst Draymond Green in his position, but I got bored of that card and everyone was running that card, so it turned me away from him. Plus, it's Ping Diamond Larry Johnson, okay? He is a beast. Got a super cheesy release. He's got the Hall of Fame pick and popper. There's just so much to this card that you can use other than him being just a regular power forward, and that's what I love so much about this card. Now moving on to my center off the bench. This is a card some people actually have mixed reactions about. They either love him, they hate him. I haven't really seen anyone that's been in between about this card. And that card is going to be pink diamond 97 overall kareem abdul jabbar from the signature series this is not the signature series limited he's just a regular one and let me just start off by saying i freaking love this card some people i feel like they don't know how to use this card so they hate on him but i feel like he does everything so well for me the only thing i feel like he doesn't do very well is rebound the way dwight has that's why i decided to put him on the bench because i need a rebounder on my starting lineup but this card he's got the nicest five hall of fame badges you can put on a big rim protector all the post ones and then tireless scorer hall of fame postman technician once again like i mentioned earlier an absolute cheesy badge and this card can actually shoot the mid-range which i like his post game is cheese and he is fast as hell as well both my centers are fast man 87 speed 89 acceleration got the rebounding and i love that he is seven feet two like that is an insane height for a big man the only thing i don't like about him honestly is that he's 225 pounds cards like shaq and dwight they push him around or when i try to post up on dwight or shaq sometimes i can't push them but that's where the hall of fame post spin technician comes in handy so again it comes down to what kind of badges you like to use but again he is a center that can't really shoot as well like as far as three pointers and stuff but i, I don't really care for that just because i like two traditional centers so that is what i'm rocking that does lead me to mention my position off the bench the one out of three position i've got rocking off the bench is diamond 95 overall mark gasol now the biggest reason i have this man on my reserves is he can shoot kareem and dwight like i mentioned earlier they're not the most prolific shooters but this mark gasol he is elite he is an amazing two-way card seven foot one has a 92 freaking open three and the thing i love about him as a center the most he's got 80 lateral quickness how the hell did they give a big man like 
like this 80 lateral quickness his speed isn't the greatest but it's still usable like he really does not feel that slow in game overall this card as well is a god he has the post game and the shooting i like a center that has both when i don't have a center that has the post game i feel like i don't really have an advantage especially because my center is under the basket most of the time so it's like you gotta have that post game but another cheesy thing about this card is the hall of fame pick and popper batch for those of you that have used marcus Gasol, you should already know he's an absolute god he's on most people's lineups now as well which makes sense because he can literally do everything a center can do and then some so i do love this card a lot have him on the reserves in case kareem or dwight are being off balled a little too hard and i need a big man that can shoot that's when we slap our little big man here in pause that sounded a little bit sus but uh this card he is going for 50k plus mt right now in the auction house i only see him climbing more because he's no longer pullable in the packs so if you guys do want him it's a good idea to go ahead and try and get him now before he goes for a little too expensive now at the second spot on my reserve bench i've got my boy diamond 95 overall lebron james now he was actually my original starting small forward but i've used him so much so i've decided to switch him up this is what i mentioned earlier with my small forwards this is why i was having such a hard time deciding who would start who would come off the bench and who would be a reserve the thing i like about the lebron at the reserve right now is he was starting for me before but now he can come in as a reserve four for larry because sometimes larry gets bullied in the post for how short he is that's when we need our boy Bron. Bron or LeBron will come in at the three and Paul George will play the four just because Paul George is taller and has the better rebounding stats but this LeBron he's absolutely elite not only is he elite for just those reasons but this one's got the diamond shoe that boosts his ball control this gives him the ability to speed boost and I know some of you are thinking 83 ball control isn't enough to speed boost but with my coaching it gives him another plus four which boosts it up to an 87 so this card can indeed speed boost and this card with a speed boosting shoe on him in the auction house is currently going for 170k plus mt but i'm gonna make it simple with a diamond contract and everything i'll just say 180k to call it even even including this new auction house thing he is still going for a ton of mt and i love this card lebron i'm super biased and i have him on my team because it's my boy lebron the goat himself he plays like an absolute beast his release feels easier this year his takeover is sharpshooter and slasher which makes him absolutely annoying on all offense like he was starting for me before but i've used him too much like i said so i gotta use durant and paul george a bit more but this card is nothing short of elite you should not be playing with them now you can switch him between him and the other lebron you won't really feel any differences except for that hall of fame tireless score badge and you guys know i love tireless score as a badge a little too much that's why i favor this lebron now the last spot I have on the reserves is really just to be a troll and that's going to be my boy the Ruby Chinaman himself 88 overall Ruby Yao Ming. There's not much to say about this card other than I have him just for shits and giggles. I had Draymond Green there before but he's just boring and Yao Ming he's the new wave he's a freaking 7-6 center as you can see I've got four centers in total kind of crazy he doesn't really play any minutes at all I just kind of like to put him there just to put him there but he is also a pretty elite card nothing really big to mention about the card though but as you can see guys that is my full lineup so now you can see what the full blazer nation really looks like magic clay durant blake and howard taking the stand off the bench we got ai jr paul george larry johnson kareem marcus all lebron and yao ming on the reserve so the total cost for this team let's add it up together we've got magic for 350 plus clay for 400 so that's 750 plus durant for 200 that's 950 plus Blake for 350 so that's another 1300 plus Dwight Howard for 100 that's 1400 so we're at 1.4 million MT on just the starting lineup alone off the bench we've got AI who's currently going for 300k uh, JR Smith for 100k so that's 400k Paul George for 150 so that's 150k Kareem Abdul-Jabbar going for 200k so that's 750k plus Marcus Gasol and LeBron together will just call them both 200k so that's 950k when we add 950k included to the 1.4 million on my starting lineup i believe that is 2.35 so 2 million 350,000 mt is what my lineup cost to build i didn't
didn't really include Yao because he's like 10k and that's not really going to affect the cost of my team very well. I guess we could say 2,360,000 2, MT is what my full lineup right now costs. So you can see there is an insane amount of MT going into this lineup, but this lineup is nothing short of deadly. Now, some cards you guys will probably think should be on this team is a card like Diamond Danny Granger. That is a card I honestly just got so bored of. He is probably one of the most elite cards in the game, but I just don't have him on my lineup because I don't really need him to win. I've got so many other players on my lineup that can help me win that I don't really need Granger. Granger's release is nice and all, but I have Clay Thompson and JR Smith, so I don't really need just a shooter. And Paul George, I feel like he goes to the rim better than Danny Granger, so I don't really need him. Kevin Durant is just a slith slithery, sorry, he is a slithery weirdo so i mean you got to keep him on the lineup and he is super elite as well but yes guys this is my lineup what would you guys rate this lineup 1 to 10 let me know down in the comment section below as well as i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are rocking for a god squad right now if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazer nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care.